Okay, in this tutorial, we'll do position control of a simple pendulum. For that, what we'll do is we'll associate our child script to the stand. So once you double click on the script, you will see that it opens up a, a file which looks like this. Uh, there are four functions. We'll be using uh, two of these, but the first function, call init, runs once in the code. Uh, the actuation sensing function runs every single time the simulation runs. Uh, you let all actuation stuff in the function called actuation. You let all sensing stuff in the function called sense. Uh, let's go to click on stand, say add child script non threaded Lua. So when you double click that, you will see these four functions I talked about. And so we'll add code here. So in order to add code, we need to know something about the regular API reference. This is where you can find a list of all functions you can call in Lua in order to simulate things like position control. So we'll click on this and we'll see the various functions. Uh, some of the functions I've written over here to do position control. Uh, we'll first get an, the handle to the object called joint, which is the revolute joint in this case. Then we'll set the position controller using these four lines of code. So set it up, set the position integral derivative gain. And then finally, using this function, set joint target position, we'll set the pendulum to go to 1.57 radians, which is 90 degrees. After this, I'll show you that you can do some uh, fun stuff like after time three seconds we'll tell the pendulum to set a new target position at zero degrees so it will go from 90 degrees to zero degrees so let's see how to do this i will open the regular api reference okay uh, clicking the link gives me this so i need to search for get object okay same get object so here, this opens up how this function has to be called in Lua, Python, and C. So we are using Lua, so we'll look at how it is called in Lua. So we need to write this code in order to get, get the object, in this case, the joint, and you'll be assigned an object handle. The second argument here is optional. Okay, so how do we access this object? Well, we, uh, we want to see how to do that. So in this case, Copel SM identifies the joint with this sign, the forward slash sign. So if I do forward slash joint, I will be able to call and, and view it. So let's do that. Let's copy this. Open the script by double clicking. And let's call the return join handle, let's say join motor. Yes, so in this case, the object is joined. So open the bracket. Uh, if you can see that it is joined with the capital J, so forwards the forward slash joint close. And that's about it. So if you want to see what joint motor handle is, you can always do print joint motor. Okay, so when I would run this, you will be able to see that over here. So let me uh, run this. And so it's at 16, which means it assigned the number 16 joint motor handle. Okay, similar to this, you can write code to set the position integral derivative control. So what, I'm, what I've done is I've already uh, done that and I'm just going to copy paste from my notes. So let's go here uh, in the init code, let's set up the position controller. Okay, so the first line basically sets the position controller. It's saying it's an int and it basically sets the position controller to be on. The next three parameters specify the position, integral and derivative gain. In this case, I've only set the position gate to one. The final step which remains is to set the target position, which in this case, I want it to be uh, 90 degrees or 1.57, which corresponds to the horizontal position. So for that, we can again go to the regular API reference. There is 
a function for target position, the set joint target position. Let's check that. See where the Lua uh, synopsis is. And copy this. And the third argument in this case is optional. So I'm going to copy that. Paste in right here in the unit. Uh, let's change this to joint motor handle. And then let's say the target is 1.57. So we code is ready. Let's turn this. And then you see that it's not really going at 1.57, but it's just swinging up. And that's because uh, there is some setting which I need to do, which is basically uh, I need to fix the maximum torque limits on the joint. So for that, I go to joint. I say show dynamic properties. I go to position control. And right here, max stock, the only allowable top is 2.5, which is very low. So I'll just change it to a very high number, let's say uh, 1,000. Okay, so I know that will never reach that value because the pendulum doesn't have that much mass. So close this, close that. And then, uh, again, let me just ensure that I've made it free. And then run this. So you see it's at 90 degrees now. Stop. And again, so it works. Okay, so now we did that. Now let's do a fun thing, which is uh, after it is at 90 degrees, let's after some some time, let's get it to back to the zero degrees position. And for that, what I need to do is uh, I'll do that in the actuation part, which is called every single time the simulation runs. Um, I'll pick up the simulation time, which is another function in the regular API. It goes by um, this thing. Same dot get simulation time, which I assigned to time. Okay, now uh, what I'll do is, uh, well, we can make it print time just to get a feel of what that is. So run this, and then you can see it's actually printing the time. Stop. Okay, let's now uh, write a conditional. So the conditionals in Lua are written as follows. If condition, then do something, and then end. So in this case, do something is we want to just set the target position to be uh, let's say zero. And then we want that to happen when let's say time is greater than uh, three. Okay, so for the first uh, three seconds, it's going to be at 90 degrees. And then after that, it will go back to zero degrees. So let's run this and see what happens. Okay, there seems to be an error. And try to debug this. Okay, it looks like I use T, but T has no meaning. I should say time. And let's run this. So time is two, three, and at three, it went back. So we can run this again. 1.57 and back to zero. So this is how you can do position control.